you're welcome back. This is News File. It's your most authoritative news analysis platform. And this morning, very br briefly for my take, it is just a wish that I express, wishing that as many Ghanaians could be citizens and not spectators and speak up so that we can have the society that we desire for ourselves and for posterity. As a Ghanaian who lives in England, and even though he's far away from home, he appears to be home. And he's been writing profusely in the Chronicle newspaper, his columnist, and has been writing about the developments in Ghana and write with such a refreshing perspective, such constructive criticism for the <clears throat> progress of this country. And Dominic Digraft Edu writes in what he's put together in a book, Musings from Afar, Musings from Afar, the collected articles. He writes on the economy, he writes on education and health, he writes on corruption, and almost every aspect of the society. One thing he wishes, and I also wish, is this. He says, being able to prosecute former presidents for criminal conduct would ensure that current and future presidents will act within the law whilst in political office. This would deter future political leaders from abusing their office. This is an essential ingredient of and for good governance and government. So I just would like to end it there, but he writes about myths, misconceptions, and stereotypes of mental illness in Ghana. It's a journalist's perspective. And he tells us how he lived by the seaside, uh, closer to where there is a psychiatric facility, and how people treated those they called mad, mad, mad men and women, whom he does a research and gives us a perspective of the causes of some of these situations. And in reading, it humbles me to know that I could just be a candidate for some of those uh, developments. And one has to be very, very careful. He speaks of this, and I mentioned, he says, a wide range of factors cause mental illness, social disadvantages, including poverty, debt, stress, and some of us go through a lot of stress, drug and alcohol misuse and abuse, social isolation and loneliness are but a few. Physical causes include physical health uh, problems, childhood abuse, physical, emotional, sexual, and neglect, trauma, death of a loved one, among others. Remember, everyone is different, and we all have different predispositions to mental illness. What can trigger mental ill health in one person may not do so in another individual. And that actually pricked me because I just felt we have to be careful how we relate and react uh, to people in uh, the circumstances that they find themselves. So my take is that we should I just wish, it's a wish, that we can be uh, citizens and not spectators and speak about, about matters. When I read about his collections on corruption and the perspectives he brings, including the solutions, I get very refreshed. And he's put all of that together in a book which is being launched coming Friday at the British Council uh, Hall at 5 p.m. Let's try and be there and give him the support that he deserves now. Mm -hmm.